Uh, just want to ask you for an update on the module showcase. Seven days ago, you said you wanted the flooding problem to fix ASAP, but they're still having the problems. I mean, recently, five floods in one day. Are you giving SMC a lot of day one to fix these things? Is there going to be a penalty? Well, uh, I am not aware that there were, I was not informed that there were, there had been five floods during one day. I don't know when that happened. You cannot expect me to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to know all this. But it is clear that we have a contract with SNC Lavalin. The contract certainly implies that the sewage equipment is working properly. And uh, we will make sure that all the legal efforts are made, and whatever efforts are made, that the product building has been delivered to us is fully functional and with, with no mishaps. What they're describing to me is not acceptable. I actually have a question on that note as well. Um, what do you think of workers throwing down hospital beds so that it can absorb the sewage in the burden center? I think I just... Say that again? Workers? Workers are throwing down hospital beds in the burning center at the NUHC so that it can absorb the water. And I wanted to know what you think of that. This is a situation that I was not aware of. And this is a question that you need to direct to Mr. Namahe. Understand that you have a local authority that is responsible and has the obligation to answer to the public and above all to you. This is a question that you have to address to Namahe. And I said to everybody in the network that they have to answer to the news reporters. Okay? They have to answer to you, and it is them who have the responsibility, the first responsibility towards the population. And if they don't do their work, it's my responsibility to make sure that they do. So direct that question to Mr. Nolan in fact, he is in charge. He's been since day one. That, that's totally fair. It's just because a reader submitted that question and wanted it to be asked to you. Well, again, uh, I am not aware of this situation. I will not comment on something that I was that I am not aware of, for for which I did not have a proper report. And that information is in the hands in the office of Mr. Rainfred. That's where you have to direct this question. Just to follow up on the five floods from yesterday, are you considering taking legal action against them if they let them if they don't? Fix the, the, uh, the general answer to that is yes. We have a contract, and the contract is clear. The building has to be built that way, and when it is delivered, it has to be fully functional and no uh, 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 structure or whatever functional problems in it. So clearly, at the end of the day, something is left unresolved. There are legal actions that can be taken. I'm not saying that today I will take action. When, when will you? Because this is obviously, it seems to be a chronic problem and staff is getting exasperated. In the contract that we have with SNC Lava, there are provisions in the contract that are, uh, that are directed to that kind of situation. There is a moment by which we will accept the building. We went through that. But after that, that's not the end of it. We have to have a transition period until then when we took uh, possession of the building and the final possession. So how long are we talking about? We're talking about months and years and we are into that. Again, if there is no resolution, of course it will be possible for us. So when, to take you, when can you possibly take legal action? When would be the date that you could take legal action? Look, I don't have the exact date in, in, date in mind, but uh, it is within months. We're going to ask you for a date in hour. Well, so. October, November, December. I don't have an exact date that you have uh, up here with me, but uh, we are in this field. And do you think it was a good idea then to have this private park public partnership given the issues that we're facing now with the UN? The answer to that is yes, because this could happen in any relationship. It, it's not about uh, it's not about the partnership itself. It's about the, the quality of the work. This could happen, and it did happen. I can tell, tell you stories. I can tell you stories that were done on the what we call the traditional way, and I've seen that myself. Myself, 
in my previous life where we had to fire a contractor because what he was building was not by uh, by the plan that we agreed. So it happens not all the time, but often. I've seen that and it induced in that situation months of delays because it had to go through the court and the, 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 the foundations were, were, were there, it had to be stopped, and it had to find a contractor. It's not about the, the type of contractor, the relationship, or public or private, or whatever partnership we have. It's about the capacity of that contractor to deliver what he signed for. If he doesn't, well, they will be. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of the things.